So 63%, nearly two-thirds of the global burden of mortality is due to chronic disease. Uh, it is similar, the situation is even worse in our region where we estimate three-quarters of the burden, uh, the causes of mortality due to chronic disease. And you see here in this graphic uh, certainly the role the big four have, cardiovascular disease, cancer, diabetes, and uh, chronic respiratory disease. Um, we estimate that some 3.9, probably over 4 million deaths currently occurring every year. Uh, about one quarter of our hemisphere's population, uh, with an estimated population of about 940 million people, have some chronic disease. We estimate that 145 million smoke, uh, 139 or a million are overweight. And this burden of disease disproportionately affects those that are mar marginalized, uh, poor, women in particular. Um, and so we really have um, a challenge. I believe that the task at hand really is a public health um, moral imperative. We are going to be confronted with an economic burden. Imagine today X number of dialysis patients in Paraguay receiving treatment. And with the growing trends, the epidemic that we're facing, imagine what that burden will be in 10 years and the cost implications. And as I alluded to, these are diseases of poverty. There's no question. And there's a disproportionate uh, impact on, on women. If you reduce the prevalence of smoking by 20% and reduce salt intake by 15% and provide essential basic medicines like hydrochlorothiazide to a hypertensive patient to 60% of those patients that have chronic disease, in the next 10 years, we can save um, 3.4 million lives. 3.4 million lives. Think of it. And those are relatively simple interventions that will have an app, a, a major impact in those um, communities of poverty and women that I refer to. What is the Partners Forum? It's really a platform to bring various key partners together, uh, raise awareness, help create new partnerships, strengthen existing partnerships, scale up successful practices, while all at the same time uh, promoting the established regional plan of action that we have at PAHO in supporting member states. But it provides an opportunity to, again, be inclusive and bring in other key uh, sectors.